and welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. Today I'm going to get started right, I mean, right away because I'm so excited about this show. So a couple announcements before we get going and get into the groove of all the questions, not questions. If you're watching on YouTube, like I make all these ridiculous hand motions. If you're watching on WSCS, Rude Rangers, um, TV, Roku, Apple, or any of the, the restreaming channels that I'm on, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Rudy from Rude Rangers for uh, putting getting me out there. And thank you, WSCS, for getting me out there. You guys uh, just rock it. You rock it for me. Thank you for Legacy PR. Thank you to Legacy PR and Amber for everything you're doing uh, for me. Okay. If you're listening on Blog Talk, you don't, or any podcast station, you don't see all my like really weird hand gestures that I do when I talk. But um, when I was growing up, my stepfather was Sicilian and the hands were always flying. And I think I just must have picked that up from there. Anyway, okay. So really quick, one really quick announcement that I need to make. Um, I've, I've announced this before, but I'm announcing it again. And I will be announcing it at the beginning of every single show because it's really, really important. Um, the only way to schedule with me is to call my personal number 414-897-2869 by personal number I mean my business number or to go to my website t-o-n-i-g dot i-n-f-o tony g dot info there are a lot of people on youtube and instagram that are pretending to be me and other psychics mediums readers and asking for things. Listen, if we are worth anything, we are never going to reach out to you and ask you for anything. Never. We're not going to be like, can you donate to me? Let me give you a mm, mm, mm. no. If we are worth anything, if we if we are reputable, we have our business, we have people, we have our website. People are reaching out to us. Again, they are making fake websites and fake accounts. The only website you can reach me on, T-O-N-I-G dot info, Tony G dot info. My number, if you want to call and make that appointment, 414-897-2869. Okay, here we go. Today, I will be taking callers, ask, um, answering, not asking. I'm going to take callers and I'm going to ask you questions today. <laughs> no, I'm going to be answering your questions, um, helping you connect with loved ones on the other side, and doing healings. The healings are for anybody listening, re listening. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to take the first caller. Please, when I call out your area code, take your phone off of speaker if it's on speaker. And da, 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 da. what are my other instructions? Have one question ready or one connection to the, the other side. So if you want me to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. Please do not ask, tell me who's around me. That's a whole reading. Please do not ask, what message does spirit want to give me? You're probably not going to like the message because they tell you what you need to fix in your life or what you're ignoring. Please do not say, tell me about my next six months. That's a whole reading. That's where you use my number or my website. Okay, let's get growing. Here we go. 860, how are you today? Hi, thank you so much. My name is Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Where are you calling and I from? would love to. Hi. Oh, Connecticut. Excellent. Lisa, how can I help you? I would love a message from my dad. His name is Bob. 
but his surname was Robert. Okay. So the first thing your dad is saying is you're doing well, you're doing well. He's actually saying you're doing good, you're doing good. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're tending to beat yourself up a little bit about something. Um, the next thing he wants to tell you is that you are having, um, okay, there's a complication going on in your life right now. There's a complication and I'm getting goosebumps on my thighs with that. Um, and goosebumps are my like my confirmation that the information is coming through accurately. Now, there's something going on in your life and this is this is what your dad is saying. You're not paying attention. You're not taking it as seriously or as um, you're kind of dumbing it down. You're kind of dumbing it down. You're not being like eyes wide open. You wanna shut your eyes, girl. Lisa, I am, you know, I've been there with you and I might be there with you right now on that one. Sometimes something comes in, we're just not ready to see, hear, no deal with it. I get that. I get you, Lisa. But here's what he is saying. You need to, you need to pay attention to what's going on around you. There's something going on that you are not focusing on. And you really need to focus on it. And I, the next word, whew, the next word I hear is money. Now, I can tell you a bunch of different scenarios that would have to do with money. One of those scenarios are maybe you're just not paying attention to where your money's going or how much money you're spending or who's in, contr who's in control of the money, who's in Who's in control of the money? Who's in control of the money? That one repeated three times. So I'm going to say you really need, if if somebody else is like running the money or doing the bills, you need to, you need to have a close look at that. You need to look at what's going on with that. You need to see the numbers. Okay, that's what your dad wants you to pay attention to. You need to look at the numbers. You need to see the numbers. Now, whether this is with work or your personal life, you need to look at the numbers. You need to know what's going on with your money. You need to have a little bit more say so or control with that. Okay. Um, however, that means now sometimes we go shopping and we're not paying attention to our numbers or what we're spending. It could be as simple as that. Okay. It could be, um, I don't want to give a direct meaning to this. He is saying, you know what, you know what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying. And if you don't, it's because I'm not going to tell her she has her head in the sand. Well, apparently I just told I you, you have your head in the sand. Did I say that last statement out loud? I did say that last statement out loud. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I talk silently to them, like telepathically. This time, it, like, apparently he just wants you to know that. Oh, for the love of all that's good on this green earth. Um, so, okay, Lisa, how is that for your message for my happy Monday? We're, we're hitting it with a bang today. Huh? Um, he also wants to say, now let me say, he wants to say he loves you. He loves your family. He Please let everybody know he loves them. He's around. He's around. He wants you to know that um, uh, 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 his, 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 uh, his uh, sign, signs for you, his signs for you are, um, I don't even know. I'm just going to say it because if things don't make sense to me, they're not supposed to, but like, Mocking Jay, mocking Jay. Now, I want to say, I think, I think you're going to know better than me because there is the movie that had that mocking Jay in it, but I think it might be the bird. It might be the specific bird he's talking about, or it, it could be the movie. I don't know. You're going to know better than me. The other thing he wants to tell you that is a sign or a symbol is a flower. And I think it's a form of a lily because he keeps showing me um, the the lilies in my backyard, which are orange 
lilies. They call them street lilies here. I don't know what they call them by you. I just think lilies are beautiful flowers. I just love lilies. But he's showing me lilies are um, a sign for you. And then he's showing me smoke. Now, this smoke, typically when somebody from the other side shows me smoke, it means that either they smoke either occasionally or all the time. Um, and that smoke, the way I'm seeing this smoke, it seems like a cigar, a, not a pipe smoke, but a cigar or a cigarette smoke. Uh, so when you smell that or see that, that means he's around. The other thing that lets you know that he's around is um, when you misplace your keys because he's showing me keys on a counter and then they're gone. They're on the counter and then they're gone. So when you misplace your keys or anything with your, something with your keys, Something with keys, something with keys on a ring, keys on a ring. That's also a, um, a symbol for you, okay? A sign that he's around. Oh, okay, How? <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Does it make sense to you, any or all of it? <laughs> my dad, my, I, my husband has charge of all the money. I don't see it. Oh. Um, can I just ask, does my dad know if my dad know if my son is going to come back at all. Wait, wait, let's go back. Wait, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go back. So the most important thing your dad needs you, I want you, when, when this show is done, you need to go back. So you were, fo you were steady focused on hearing something. You should have asked us that specific question in the beginning. But your dad gave you the most important message you needed to hear. And that message is about the finances and who's in control of them and you getting your eyes on those finances. Now, you just said your husband's in control of the finances and you don't see them. You need to change that, baby girl. You need to change that and you need to change it now. And I'm going to tell you, this is me channeling your dad. Now, if your dad thought the, the, the message about your son, and we, we can get to that in a second, but you need to, the most important thing, the most, the most absolute important thing that your dad needs you to know right now is you need to get your eyes on your finances. You need to know what's going on with your finances. You need to get a grasp on what, they look like okay that is the most important message and the fact that that came through and then you said your husband's in control of the finances and you he's being spot on with you he's telling you exactly what you need to know he's letting you know this is what's the most important thing okay now ask that question about your son again i'm sorry Sorry, I haven't seen my son for 11 years. He's a grown man. Okay. I'm just wondering if I'll see him. Mm, can we go back to talking about your finances? Um, honestly, he's. I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen anytime soon. I feel like whatever's going on with your son's life or whatever happened that caused this separation, I feel like it. the circumstances between you and your son, they're not going to change anytime soon. And I'm, I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. Um, I feel like what is important for you though? And, and and I wish I could give you a different answer than that. And I'm sorry that I cannot, but what is really important for you at this point in time is for you, you really, 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 and your dad cannot stress this enough. You really need to get a hold of those finances. Okay, love? God bless. And thank you for calling in. Please keep me posted on what you find from that. I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 702. 702, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing today? 
Excellent. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yep, I can. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about that. It's um, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I didn't want to. Is it possible that uh, I could bypass the child and just ask you a question? You can ask me a question. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, this past last week, um, I had my uh, car repaired. Uh, or, you know, it's like oil issues and some rattling from the engine. And the car was returned to me with the engine gone. And the place that I got it repaired is refusing to compensate me. And I just want to know, where do you see this process going in regards to them and the car? But wait, 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 did... So I now I'm going to ask you a question. They just returned your car with no engine in it? No, the engine was compromised, which means it's not working. It's okay. Because <laughs> um, the way you said it, like the engine gone, I thought you meant like they literally up and took the engine out and just <laughs> plopped it right back in your yard. I'm a very literal person when I'm channeling, by the way. Um, so here's the thing that I'm getting. Um, Okay, to resolve this, you're going to need to go beyond your own going back and forth with this company. You need to immediately um, tell them that if you don't get a resolve within the next 24 hours and a resolve being them, A, giving, gi gi giving, giving you back the money you have paid them, don't take your vehicle back to them. Do not take your vehicle back to them. Take your V. Okay, this is okay. Take your vehicle to another place. Uh, have them uh, document what has happened with your your engine, and even take it to two places and have them document what has happened with your engine. Go to an attorney. Have an attorney tell them this is what you're responsible for. Return this man's money and pay for these repairs. That's how you're going to get your resolve. Talking to these yahoos, I see them showing up and no offense to donkeys because Shrek had a really cute donkey in it, but I see them showing up as donkeys. Now we all know what that means. I don't have to say what it means if I see somebody showing up as a donkey, right? We know what it means when somebody shows up to me in a vision exactly. as a donkey. So if you're trying to get a donkey to do something that it doesn't want to do, donkeys are like the most stubborn. They'll just kick you with their back legs sort of thing. They're not going to do, they're not going to compromise. They're not going to work with you. So you have to get documented statements from other mechanics, take them to an attorney and let the attorney take care of this and have your attorney include the attorney's costs in this monies that they have to give you, okay? That's the best way you're gonna get your resolve. Please, for you and everybody listening, if a mechanic or an auto shop messes up your car, don't give them a second chance to make it worse or to rig it so that it is fixed a little bit, and then a week later, the whole motor falls on the street while you're driving. Because when you take, it's like sending your food back to the kitchen. If you're dealing with a immature, icky cook, you're taking the chance they're gonna, they're like gonna sabotage your food. So you have to not give somebody a second chance to screw you. Okay, not give somebody a second uh -huh. chance to do more damage. You have to now go someplace else and get it fixed and then bill them for the cost of getting it fixed as well as um as well as the cost of that they that you've already spent on them and the only way they they are going to comply is with an attorney, okay? And I do feel like once you get all this documented, okay. you can just kind of get like, what is that? A judgment against them. I feel like you can just get a judgment against them and they'll kind of be forced to just pay you back your money. Okay. 
Okay. Perfect. I hope this um, was so helpful for you. It really was. I was kind of going in that direction. Uh, I just needed kind of like a final push to that, and you provided that. So thank you so much. And consider this your angels pushing you, and listen to your intuition from now on because it is strong, and they are guiding you in the right direction. Okay. Okay, dear. You thank, thank you so much. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the week or and day and day and week. You too. <laughs> thank oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go straight away to the next caller. And the next caller is uh, 269. 269, how are you today? I'm very well. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Michigan, Pamela. Pamela, how can I help you today? I was wondering if you can give me a message from my mother. Her name is Audrey. Okay. Um, the, you know what? Uh, uh, yeah. Is there something really serious going on in your life right now? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's not, as, it's not earth shattering, but it's... It's serious, though, because as soon as I, like, as soon as your energy came in, as soon as, like, I was, like, tapping into you, it's like this, like, whoosh feeling. I don't, I don't know how to describe it any other way. Like, it's this very serious, we need to get on track, we need to fix this sort of thing. And I might be overstating it a bit. So your mom, let's let's talk with your mom. Well, actually, surprise, it's your mom and your grandmom that came in together. And what they want to say to you is, um, <laughs> I don't think they're the ones singing this song, but what I'm hearing is get on it, get on it, get on and on and on it. Like you, whatever is going on, you need to get on it now. Uh, there's, there's no... Um, no time for like delay they're saying don't don't um don't procrastinate whatever it is that that you're dealing with right now don't don't procrastinate it okay don't procrastinate it um but they they are saying that number one they're together they want you to know they're together they want you to know that every everybody's together um and, and your mom is coming through and she there's also another woman with her who I feel like it must be your grandmom. Um, and one of them was thinner, more petite. Um, so one of these women was thinner and more petite and looked more like a grandmom, but was a little bit older, if I'm, if I'm saying it correctly. What I'm going to say, I, what I want to say is that they are letting you know they're watching over you. And I don't know if this is um, sadness or heaviness that you, or seriousness that you're experiencing right now, but this feeling, and then they're saying the word situation. It has to do with a situation going on right now, not a past situation, something going on right now. Um, and this situation is, is I'm going to, I hear the word work. So is this a situation, something that is, um, is a, a, around your work or has to do with your work? About a month ago, yeah. Uh, is there something lingering for that from that? Because I hear the word lingering. So there's something still going on. There's if it's if you're saying this is from a month ago, they're saying this is something current. It's something that's still going on. And if if you don't know that it's still going on, you need to know it's still going on. Does that make sense to you? I guess. I mean, there's somebody there that I'm still sort of in contact with. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This person is, um, the, here's the, st without saying too much, this is what I'm going to say. This person is probably 
a um, The way I would try to say this delicately is this person might make things a little bit more complicated for you than they need to be. Uh, and then I hear very strongly, watch your back. Whatever that means for your personal situation, I'm really not going to go into that, but I am going to say there, there is, whatever this situation is, it's lingering, it's if you might think it's done, but I don't think whomever else is involved, they might not think it's done. They might think there's, it's lingering for this other person involved. So just be aware of that. Be conscious of that this, with your work. Does this have to do with unemployment insurance? Does it have to do with unemployment money? Yes and no. Or is it like an emotional situation? Okay. I feel, I feel like it's more of an emotional situation. I feel like it's more of okay. someone. And I, if, let me put it to you this way, okay? For, for what it's worth and however this makes sense to your personal situation, there might be somebody that from that work situation that is feeling like they need vengeance or they need um, they need to set it straight or, or fix, get there. I don't want to use all the words they're using for this, but there's somebody that feels like they need to set this straight, whatever this is, uh, however things went down, whatever happened, there's somebody on the other side that is not happy with the end result. And this in the, in that person's opinion, this is not over. Okay. So just be aware of that. Uh, keep everything documented. Everything you have that was documented or is documented, keep it. You're going to need it. Don't think there's something okay. about this situation that is lingering. So like, for example, if you filed for unemployment and you had a, to fight to get it, this person might not be done fighting to keep you from it. They might try to do something. But whatever this means for your personal situation keep all your documents keep all your everything that you have don't think this is done be ready just in case okay love okay okay thank you i hope this was helpful and i want to thank you so much for calling in today all right thank you you take care you too Thanks thank, a lot. thank you Okay, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. I am so grateful to be able to be here and to be with um, you and answer any questions that you might have. I am here every Monday at noon central time, taking calls and um, answering questions to those on YouTube who tuned in today to say hi. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful that you joined me here today, Frankie, and I think it's um, Mika. Um, I will be back next week, Monday, so please join me again then.